Hey, welcome to Kid Can Play Tabletop Games Online, Episode 5. My name is Dee Thelza. I'm a Digital Services Technician with the Richmond Public Library. Glad you could be here. So, today we're going to look at um, a few different things. Um, we're looking today at tools to help the, uh, the Dungeon Master or Game Master or Referee to be able to get going quickly and run um, a session. So last time we looked at uh, random generators, mostly. Uh, today we're going to look at um, where you can find and how you can use uh, pre-written uh, material, modules, and things like that. So there are, for any game uh, pretty much out there, there are lots of existing um, adventures that you can, you can find for free or you can buy, whether you get them from a place like um, online at uh, RPG drive through um, or if you go to your hobby shop, they, they're going to have lots of them, things for you. And those are great. You can get a lot of really good resources there. What I do recommend if you if you go that way, um, whether it's something you've gotten for free or, or purchased, is read through it first. Uh, get an idea where your players might end up. Um, get a feel for how the information is organized. If the, um, the all the magic items and treasure and monsters are scattered throughout, um, maybe put some post-it notes to help find them quickly when you need to look them up while you're playing. Um, things like that can go a long way to making things go smoothly at the table. So that's um, step one. Is you know if you if you get a existing one, read through it first and. Um, one of the things that uh, can come up is sometimes you'll play a game like Dungeons and Dragons and one of your players may know more about the setting, like if you're playing in the Forgotten Realms of Dungeons and Dragons. Um, some of your players may have read the novels or you know, researched and know the lore even better than you do and that can be a little intimidating as a game master. Um, what I recommend is um, go with it. Assign that player to be the lore master like the like being a rules lawyer they will be if you if there is a question we will ask you what um, what would work in this setting and that takes some of the pressure off of you as the game master so so that players have someone to turn to for that uh, and you're not expected to know all of it or to have one of your players contradicting you if they think they know it better but also gives that player some added responsibility and that can be um, a really good uh, kind of a feel-good move for them. So it's it's a way of turning this thing that could be problematic into an advantage for both of you. All right, so the other uh, thing, one of the things I like to use for my games is called um, one-page dungeons. And the one-page dungeons are, um, most of them came out of this contest. And it's been running for a few years now, so you can actually go up to the top and you can get back to the earlier years. And I have had, uh, I ran a game for, for my uh, kid and their friends for a couple of years, uh, and the whole campaign was mostly based around about five or six of these one-page dungeons linked together a little bit with some plot to, to you know, get them from one to the, the other. But we had a, an amazing time and there are hundreds of them now. Um, so this is the winners this year, or this last year, um, and honorable mentions. And then you can click here and you can get all the original, the PDFs of all of the games. So they're all easily downloadable. You can buy them. You can buy books of them, um, I think through uh, RPG drive through um, But, uh, and also don't want to forget to mention is there's a template here for making your own. And so one of the things you may get inspired to do looking at all of these one-page dungeons is to make your own. And you certainly don't have to use this template, but you, it's there if you would like to. Um, and you don't have to submit to the contest, although if you come up with something really cool and interesting, why not? So they have a submission guideline if you do choose to do that. Um, and but for it goes back to 2009, and um, I think my um, the ones that I ran were mostly from these early years, but there have been uh, many many 
and they cover all genres. So there is the fantasy of Dungeons and Dragons, there are heist games, modern games, futuristic game, uh, futuristic uh, dungeons um, or adventures, and um, horror, you know, Call of Cthulhu kind of things, um, mechas. I, I'm sure every genre is covered in this, although a lot of them do tend towards the, the fantasy um, side of things. So each one of these has probably dozens of entries, so there are now hundreds uh, total and lots of inspirational work, and all really short. So the entire dungeon fits on one sheet of paper, so um, there, it's not hard to learn and mem you know, not memorize, but have a reference for everything that's going to happen in that dungeon. So. Um, and usually they're written in a fairly high-level, flexible way, so you can adapt them to any whatever rule system that you're using quite easily. So they are written maybe to be played in Dungeons & Dragons or maybe to be, to be played in one of the old-school um, style games, but I never had any trouble um, adapting to whatever game we happen to be playing. So regardless of what role-playing game you've chosen, um, you should be able to use use these um, as a, either as an inspiration or directly to play. Uh, and then there is um, this site which had somebody took this idea and created 60 one-page adventures for players from levels 1 to 15. So you could have an entire campaign just based off of these uh, particular one-page adventures. So there are um, There's just a PDF that has all of them, and it goes through wizards' towers and elemental planes and ancient temples and forests and pirate ships and basically anything you you might need, you could probably find something there. So that is kind of your if you do want the more fantasy uh, angle, one-stop shopping, you get 60 adventures right there, and it's all available for free. Now, if you want to go beyond uh, one-page adventures, you can actually play one-page role-playing games. Um, and so this is a book for purchase. Uh, I have it. I've been slowly reading my way through it. But it has 40 different RPGs, 40 different games, each of which takes only one page. Now, these are not like Dungeons & Dragons games. These are not uh, that involved. I mean, some of them are in that, that uh, realm, that genre but they are much simpler. These are games that you can introduce the rules to your friends in an evening, um, play it, and finish it all in one at one seat, um, sitting. And a um, great way to introduce people to the idea of uh, role-playing games, all sorts of genres, everything from modern and fantasy to science fiction. Um, and uh, the ones I've read so far are really well done. Uh, I've been, been having a, a great time reading this and looking forward to uh, times when friends can actually gather around a table again uh, in the near future, hopefully, and play. But also, um, you, can, um, you can also take these online fairly easily, I think. So we looked a lot at um, generators for the... Uh, the game master last time, but you can also have your players generate uh, characters. So this is a play. This is a website where you can generate a character for fifth edition Dungeons and Dragons. You can choose what um, books to use, whether you want just the basic player's handbook or uh, any of the expansions that are available, and just click a button and it will generate you a character with a picture and a background and an occupation and. Um, all the details you need to, to play that that character. So if your players don't know what they want to play, or if you want to get get started very quickly, you could have some pre-generated characters ready, or have them go to this site and create the character themselves. This is another character generator. This is for um, Into the Odd, and Into the Odd is a much um, is a very rules light game 
uh, including uh, the characters themselves, who do have a tendency to die very quickly. So it's nice that even if you're using the book for Into the Odd, it only takes about two minutes to create a new character. But here you can create a new character at the click of a button. So you can uh, just reload the page, get a new character um, over and over. So much simpler than the D&D characters, but that's kind of the beauty of that setting. And then for any other resources, uh, any other games, if you want to just try a lot of different things, um, DriveThruRPG is a great site for seeing what people are publishing in role-playing games, but you can also um, just set the price to uh, free and it'll show you all sorts of resources that you can download for free. Some of them are temporarily free, like right now Hero Kids is, uh, there's a free version. Um, I think that's a temporary thing, but um, Here's a one-page dungeon, and there's templates for creating dungeons. There's uh, adventures, there are whole games, there are um, supplements, there are all sorts of things that you can get started with for free, and then you can see which things that you, you, um, you can try different things that way and uh, get a feel for them and get an idea of what they're about and whether you want to learn more. Um, so. Those are some, those are this week's resources. This is the last session of uh, this series for now. If you have found it valuable and interesting, uh, do use the feedback form uh, that is in the, the description of this video and let me know that, uh, that you liked it and what you'd like to see more of. And um, then I will, I will try and do uh, do some more uh, episodes if there's uh, requests for it and, and people are, are finding this valuable. Uh, otherwise, it has been an honor to be here with you and I hope that you found something useful and something that you can take and uh, make your own. And I hope you are uh, just having fun playing and continue to have fun playing. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. <laughs>